generously owned by Queen Elizabeth II of England, who enjoys owning corgis because of their smart and cheeky character, the Welsh corgi is separated into the Pembroke and Cardigan varieties. The FCI recognises both as separate breeds. History and origin of the Welsh corgi The small lively dogs originated in Wales, where corgi in Welsh roughly means dwarf dog. The dog's astonishing similarity with the Westgut Espets, the Swedish Valhund and the Lunderhund suggests that the Welsh Corgi arrived in the British Isles with the Vikings during the 9th to 12th centuries and is therefore one of the oldest dog breeds in Britain. For centuries the agile dogs had the task of herding cattle, ponies and sheep in large open areas and driving them over long distances to cattle markets. To keep a herd in check, the dogs would run around nipping at the heels of sheep or cattle before quickly and skillfully dodging away. Corgis would also hunt rodents and other pests on farms, bark when visitors arrived and play with children. Although Welsh corgis increasingly disappeared from farms and pastures over the years, since 1933 they have been the favoured dogs of the English Royal Court, where Queen Elizabeth II bred them for many years until 2009. Since 2015, the British Kennel Club has classified the dog breed as having a threatened status, as fewer than 300 puppies were registered in the stud book in 2014. Appearance of the Welsh Corgi Both the Welsh Corgi Pembroke and Welsh Corgi Cardigan varieties were first recognised as one breed by the United Kennel Club in 1925, but since 1934, the two varieties have been recognised separately. The Pembroke differs from the cardigan primarily by its sometimes congenital stub tail, while the cardigan has a long tail that reaches almost to the ground. Pembrokes can also be slightly smaller than the cardigan, with a shoulder height of 25.5 to 30.5 cm, as determined by the FCI, while the ideal shoulder height for the cardigan is 30 cm. The weight is between 10 to 13 kilos, depending on the variant and sex. Their life expectancy is around 12 to 14 years. Their weatherproof top coat has a dense undercoat and is of medium length. The fur of the Pembroke can be red, sand colored or black. White markings on the legs, chest, neck and head are permitted. With the cardigan, however, a three-coloured brindle, sable or blue merle coat is also permitted. The fur may also have white markings. Furthermore, a Pembroke's ears are slightly smaller than those of a cardigan and its build is somewhat more compact. Temperament and training of the Welsh Corgi The small and spirited dogs have a temperament that can be described as bold, superior and skillful. As they tend to try and dominate their pack, that is, within a family, corgis need a particularly consistent training from an early age. Today, corgis are kept almost exclusively as family dogs. Most of the time, they have little or no hunting instinct, but their herding instinct is still apparent. Exercise and care of the Welsh corgi. Despite its small size and its short legs, the dog is by no means a lap dog. The intelligent and watchful dog needs plenty of exercise and activity due to its history as a herding and cattle dog. Dog sports such as obedience, agility courses or tracking are ideal for corgis to take part in. Twice a year the dogs molt and lose quite a lot of hair, which means they need more coat care than other dogs. The breed is not very susceptible to diseases but the dogs do love to eat, so owners should make sure they don't become too overweight.